Good morning. So this morning I wanted to talk to you about your C-section scar. So if you've had a C-section, it is really important to give your C-section scar some love and attention. And this often gets overlooked as part of recovery. So if you have, um, if your C-section scar has healed at this point, it's no longer open, then it is time to start getting it moving. And you can also do these techniques as long throughout your life as, as needed. If you've never paid attention to your C-section scar, never did any scar massage or mobilization, and it's been 20 years, it isn't too late. So I highly recommend checking into this no matter how long it's been. So what I'll start with is um, I like to do these techniques, I like for my patients to do these techniques consistently so you can feel changes over time. So depending on what you've been doing through the day, depending on many factors, your scar might feel different and it's really great to keep checking in. Once you get your scar tissue moving, it doesn't mean that it's moving like that forever. We still need to um, continue to attend to it for quite a while. So I would begin by laying down on your back comfortably. I'll show you the position and then I might come up to kind of show you on myself so that you can actually see the techniques that I'm using. But you'll start by laying down on your back. And once you arrive on your back, just make sure you feel in a relaxed place. Your legs could be out straight, your knees could be bent. It doesn't really matter. Allow yourself to feel uh, in a place where you can just take your hands and place them right on top of your scar. And so I like to take finger pads, so whether it's two or three fingers, placing uh, one hand straight down on top of the scar, or the lower abdomen, and then taking a similar amount of fingers, maybe two or three finger pads right on top of the, of the other hand. And then placing your hands down directly on the scar, or maybe you know, an inch or so um, above and below and just starting to explore what it feels like to put your hands there. Is it sensitive? Is it, um, can you not feel it very well? Sometimes there's some numbness along the scar as well. And then just begin to start to notice if you notice any bumps or any, um, anything like that right on the surface of the scar. And start to just move across the scar horizontally in both directions, right, and right to left and left to right and then move also vertically along the scar and just to take stock of where the biggest sort of restrictions are. And as you move, you'll start to notice that maybe as I bring my fingers over from right to left, they move smooth. But as I go from left to right, let's say maybe it's a little bit choppy or I feel some of that restriction, that's good information for how we'll work on the scar. And then we'll start um, by going over to one side of the scar and again with finger pads over finger pads, starting to place um, the, the um, pressure downward and then gently pull the skin and the scar tissue up towards the chin. And as you do that, hold there, take a few breaths. Notice the stretching of the fascia and the skin and the scar. And then gently press and go the other direction. And you'll know how much pressure to use. I mean, you're, you don't want to be digging down into your organs, but you certainly want to get deeper than just the surface of your skin. And so you'll do this kind of going all the way along the scar. So pulling up, a few breaths there, holding that stretch, and then pressing down. And go all the way along and start to kind of notice if there's certain areas that are, you feel more sensation than others. And then we'll go um, horizontally. You can take one hand and sort of pin down the skin tissue and the scar tissue. And the other hand, you just stretch that tissue from that location over in a horizontal direction. And then you can move your hand inward a little bit and repeat that. So just kind of stretching both vertically and horizontally. And then I like to do semicircles. So placing one uh, group of finger pads over the other and then stretching up and around into a semicircle hold. Take a few breaths and then again up, round, semicircle hold. So make sure you go in both directions. So then you would go down, around, semicircle hold. And you move all the way along, and you might notice that there might be areas that um, increase your urgency to maybe um, to avoid, to go pee. Sometimes that can happen, especially as you move along the scar tissue that's near the bladder. And generally just being kind to yourself and gentle, but definitely um, helping to move the tissue. And then you can also go around the tissue of outside of the scar. So in the abdominal muscle tissue, few inches above and below the scar. You might find um, some useful uh, areas there to work on as well as a reminder that scar tissue 
isn't located just under the incision, but travels through seven layers of tissue all the way down. So you need to kind of work through um, the scar tissue that travels throughout the lower abdomen. So take a nice deep breath as you're doing this, but breathing helps to mobilize the tissue as well. And then I like to recommend um, And then I like to recommend using um, something else you do throughout your day as a way of uh, remembering to do your scar massage uh, every day. So whether it's you know right before bed or first thing in the morning or maybe when you're in the shower or after or before you brush your teeth, just try to attach it to something you're already doing and so that it's one less thing you need to think about and can stay consistent. If you have any questions or if you would like some personal attention in how to work on your scar, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.